All right, guys, I am up here in Woodbine. Woodbine, Georgia, which is about probably about 12, 15 miles from where I live down in St. Mary's. They have a bike trail up here and a walking trail that's out here on the river. So I'm gonna get out here and ride around for about an hour. I've been fishing like every day practically this week. Uh, a lot of fishing. So I'm ready to get out and do something, uh, something outdoors. I've been neglecting my exercise, so not today. Today I'm going to ride around at least a little bit and check this place out. You can see this place has got a parking lot, a, uh, picnic area it's got a boat launch and apparently you can fish off of this little pier out here so that's nice got a few folks out there fishing right now I saw a guy riding his bike on this so I'm assuming it is okay I want to say it's maybe a 10 mile uh, little trail here which is not far for a bike trail but for a walking trail that's good and this is nice you're out here you're on the water this is the um, Satilla River up here this is really nice you can come out here I don't know uh, what kind of depth and stuff this water is here's a bridge Highway 17 above me. They got some signs that talk about the birds and the wildlife here. Looks like they got some Christmas lights on the poles. Looks like they got another little pier there. I guess you can fish off of that or walk on it. There's somebody up there walking. Let's walk out here and check this out. This river, this river is muddy, muddy. The Satilla River it says it's slow moving because it only drops 350 feet from its headwaters to the sea. And there's a nice view from the bridge out here. I know one thing, when you're biking down here, <laughs> it sure is different than the Silver Comet Trail because it's all flat here. Silver Comet Trail, you had a few hills and stuff, ridges to go over. Not here. I bet this is pretty at night when they got these poles lighted up. From what I read, the reviews and stuff online, this pretty much goes to some neighborhoods and stuff. It's not like all in the trees and the woods. So, like I said, we'll check it out. See what it looks like. Pretty so far. Nice big wide trail. Looks like it's well maintained. What I understand, they're trying to raise money to connect this with some other trails and make it, you know, a long series of trails like you have up there in metro atlanta going over to alabama with the silver comet trail which would really be cool because that trail gets a lot of uh a lot of traffic and a lot of uh visitors and stuff and woodbine is a very small little town here in camden county I guess what you have is St. Mary's, Woodbine, and Kingsland. And uh, I think that's pretty much, pretty much it. It says no motorized vehicles. I don't know if that includes electric bikes or not. I think it'd probably be okay to have one. There's pretty little houses over here.
Uh, but yeah, I have been fishing, fishing, fishing. But the weather's been so good. When you uh, get, you know, in the winter, you never really know what kind of weather you're going to get. And when you have good days, it's like you feel like you just have to go. Of course, you know, I usually go at least some, even if the weather's not all that good, as long as it ain't too windy. Yeah, there are it's a lot of kind of like little swampy kind of areas around. You can see as you go through here, standing water and stuff, which is, you know, that's the way it is down here. Everything's so uh, low and no hills and all that. Being near the coast. That said, I just went by a sign that said there's a mountain bike trail here to the left, which is nice. They've cut through the trees and stuff over there in that direction to my left I won't be going on the mountain bike trail but it is pretty the way the people described it some of the people that were critical of the trail said that it went through like it was a residential trail but I don't think that's the case most of what I've ridden through so far you can see the woods and see the river and all that kind of stuff you're not out in the wilderness by any means but you get to see plenty of nature it's very pretty I'd like to see it I'll have to come back up here some more and see it when the trees are blooming and all that kind of stuff you can see the standing water and stuff there all right here are the trail ends then you come out here and it Send you, uh, I guess, out on the road here. I don't know that I'm going to ride on the road. I don't see that there is a bike trail. So, today I'm not going to do that. But since today's my first day, I'll just enjoy this part for right now. All right, here's the uh, restroom that I saw. Georgia Coast Rail Trail. I guess that's the official name. Yeah, if you wanted to get off the trail and just ride through some of the, you know, back roads through the town here where there's not much traffic, that would be very easy and convenient to do. So, you know, if you wanted to turn it into a much uh, longer lasting experience where you ride a lot further, that would be no problem. Good view of the boat dock. All right, but here's the app I have on the phone. It shows you the trails nearby. See, there's Crooked River. There's the Woodbine River Walk. It's got Jekyll Island bike trail. You know, stuff like that. Nature trails, that kind of thing. And you can click on them. It takes you there. It gives you some information, like the Crooked River one is 2.7 miles. Tells you the elevation gain. Gives you a map you can click on. Gives you what the weather is right now, reviews, stuff like that. It's pretty nice. So it's a free app. You might want to look at it. All trails. So I like using stuff like that. It's convenient. All right, guys. So that is definitely a nice little area. I will be coming back. Um, you know, maybe bring Tammy back with the electric bike or something like that, or if it's a good place to walk. Uh, that's a good thing about living down here. You got small towns. Uh, with not a lot of traffic so if I want to walk in town at St. Mary's you know that's easy I can walk around my neighborhoods I got a lot of places I can go 
uh, you know, if I want to stay out of traffic and, you know, even with my bike and stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Nichols Retirement Empire.